Arsenal fan TV, Graham, very disappointing today. Um, we lost the game. We are through, though. We, we do have to remember that. We do have to stay positive on the fact that Arsenal are through to the next round of the Europa League. But it could hardly be inspired that we're going to win the Europa League when you see performances like that today. Well, we started off, Robbie, as though it was a training session. Uh, mm. The attitude was wrong right from the start. They didn't respect the game. They didn't respect the opponent. Um, I'd like to know what our game plan was. I'd like to know what Wenger said before he sent them out because basically they might as well have bibs on because basically that first 25 minutes they were running around as though it was a training session. Uh, Lee, you know more about that than me being an ex-footballer. Mm. But um, I thought we encouraged them on and I thought you saw everything wrong tactically about a Wenger team. It doesn't matter if he's got Ozil, Sanchez or... It will be mate and Niles in his team. Tactically, it was dreadful. And the problem you got with the Wenger team is he set up with a 4-2-3-1. Mm. So when Jack Wilshere is the cam, playing in a central attacking midfield role, why is he allowing El Nene to bomb on beyond Jack Wilshere? What that does is it leaves no protection for our defence. Now, we invited him on in that start. They had two great chances at the start already before they scored. But simply because as poor as the centre-backs were, there was no protection for Chambers and Holding. You've got to remember, Chambers and Holding are not regulars in the side. They're rusty, lacking in confidence. And what you We were the full-backs as well. Well, the other thing I was going to say to you is, is that Bellerin and Kolasinac were two forward. If you look at the goals we conceded, the first goal, Chambers... Uh, sorry, holding over committed, mm. but Kalazanac was totally out of position. He was nowhere. And uh, the, mm. the guy, they played with two wingers tonight, and sometimes mm. you have to look at what the opposition are doing. Now, we played with a 4 2 3 1, but they played with two wingers. They were always going to go for it because they, they had mm. nothing to lose, but they played with two wingers. So, why are your two fullbacks bombing on all the time? Now, when we conceded that first goal, the mistake initially by holding, then Kalazanac, and then I think Chambers turned it into his own net. I don't think it was going in. Yeah. Um, well, the, the, immediately we started. But we kicked off and within a minute we were two down because we were totally out of shape, out of position. Kicked the ball away. Iwobi gave the ball yeah. away. Bellerin's too far up the pitch. Yeah. And the guy, who, to be fair to me, uh, Sina or mm. Sima, whatever his mm. name is, he was outstanding tonight. And he got in. Chambers took a lot of stick, but I thought the way he turned away from it was so quick and it was a brilliant finish. Mm. But I think defensively, you see the, the problem why we conceded goals. I think the last five Champions League games here at the Emirates, we conceded 15 goals. And it's the way Wenger tactically sets us up, Robbie. He basically he allows the midfielders to bomb on. There's no protection for the defenders. The, the centre halves are left exposed, mm. and the fullbacks bomb on. You, you really at the start of every game, you need your fullbacks in position. You need your two set, centre mids to be holding. Uh, and if Wilshire is the forward player, you don't want to see El Nenny bombing on in front of him because he should be in, protecting the back four. Mm. Uh, and that is the problem tonight, where we conceded the two goals. It's the worst European performance I've ever seen in an Arsenal team. Uh, mm. play. I've seen a lot of European games. It's complacency, games. isn't it? It's, 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 like, it's yeah. like we can play any way we want yeah. and we'll beat this team tonight. And, yeah. uh, you know, they, you, you've got to respect teams like this. Yeah, I mean, all right, there might be a small team, but, yeah. you know, look at the teams they've already beaten we on the way, you know, to get them to where they've been. They, they, you know, they can't be crap can they no uh, we, we didn't respect them there's no energy in the team at the start and and they saw that straight away and they mm. capitalized on it and they went for it and uh obviously up front danny welbeck uh had two great chances i thought that the chip was very tame mm. and then the header no conviction mm. and i think he's struggling and another chance near the end as well yeah, and he's, he's lacking he's lacking in confidence yeah a Wobie, when you think about it, Awobi and Welbeck had a great chance tonight to, to put in a performance. Now, we don't know what sort of team he's going to put out against Man City. We are struggling, uh, obviously, with injuries. We don't know if Ramsey's going to be fit. I was questioning whether Wiltshire should have started tonight. Does that mean he's not going to play? I, I, I don't really know. But the problem we've got is that we need to compete with Manchester City in midfield uh, because they their central midfield has been steamrolling teams, including us, this season. When we played them up at the Etihad early in the season, they overwhelmed us in midfield. We couldn't keep hold of the ball. We kept giving it away. They press you into mistakes. So basically, our midfield, we really need to have more bodies in there. And so I'm thinking to myself, you know, I would have liked, it's just unfortunate Mkhitaryan can't play because I would like to have played a diamond four in midfield, Jacker at a base, and then maybe a right side in midfield, a left side in midfield, and Ozil at the base, at the front, and then maybe Mkhitaryan off our We can't play that. Because the danger is, is, that is if, if we don't compete in midfield, we're basically going to lose this final. Um, um, there are two ways to beat Manchester City for me. Um, you either uh, press them intensely, like Liverpool did early in the season, uh, back in Anfield in the league game, or you do what Wigan did, you sit deep. Uh, everybody you can't sit deep. No, no, and, and we proved against Tottenham, we can't sit deep. I think one thing we do need to do better that we didn't do against Tottenham, we need to press them at the front uh, and force them into errors maybe. 
I look at their midfield, it's very defined roles they've got, unlike our midfield. They've got Fernandinho who sits at the, uh, the base in a, like a V-shaped three. Silva plays on the left, De Bruyne plays on the right. Okay, so you know where they're going to play. I think you need to stop Fernandinho supplying De Bruyne and Silva because they are the ones who pick up the pockets of space and then bring in the attacking wide players. I think one thing we did at Wembley really well last year is that we uh, stretched them. Uh, and if you remember, Oxley Chamberlain had a standing game that day when he drove forward from midfield. We need people driving from midfield. We need to be brave, impose our game on them. And if we don't do that, they're going to they're going to overwhelm us in midfield. And I think they they've got only Paris Saint Germain in Europe scored more goals than them this season. So they've got an outstanding attacking. Uh, Aguero's got 14 since Christmas. Sterling's got 15. But I think the key to the final really is stopping De Bruyne and Silva getting into pockets of space to, to, to feed in these wide players. We need to be brave, we need to impose ourselves on the game, but we need to be disciplined. So it's got to be a combination of the two, but we need to press uh, better from the front. I know it's against Wigan, I think they had some joy in some wide areas. Maybe we can occasionally go long, stretching with a Bamiyan. We stretched Man City last year in the semi-final, we had the luck in the first half of the decisions, but we stayed in the game. And I think the only way we're going to beat them is I think we're going to have to be disciplined, but we're going to have to, we can't sit deep. We're going to have to push up because they push up as well. And I think we're going to have to put their defence under pressure and maybe force their mistakes. What they do is the other the other thing I think we need to look at on Sunday. Carl Walker is an outstanding outlet for them. What he does is they've got weight and the Mo's right. They've improved the way they play out through the thirds this year. What they do is they play it out wide left to Delph or it'll be Danilo I think on and then mm. he goes into midfield to Fernandinho Fernandinho looks to supply Silva and De Bruyne and then what happens is Walker stays out wide on the right now what they do really cleverly is they wait they rotate it in midfield and wait for Walker to spring between the centre half and the fullback and then they sort of like slip him in and he fires a low cross across so what we need to do I think we've got to take care of Fernandinho press Fernandinho so he can't supply Silva De Bruyne watch Walker uh, Really, the bloke on the left-hand side, whoever plays there, Welbeck or Welby, whoever it is, has got to work back, track back. And I think we need to push their fullbacks back. Their fullbacks give them overloads in midfield. And I think we need to win that midfield battle. It will be who's the better team out of possession, but who wins the midfield battle. And, I, and I'm worried in central midfield, we haven't got the technical superiority that they've got on the ball. But what we can do, I think, is that maybe we need to do what we did against Tottenham here. We That day, we bypassed the midfield. We went long, looked for our runners. And I think we need to push them back. Start challenging what they want to do. Put them into areas of the pitch they don't want to be. And I think unless we do that, that would be our best chance of winning the final, Robbie.